हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज विपिन शर्मा बायोलॉजी ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड टुडे वी आर लर्निंग द ह्यूमन ईयर पार्ट टू द लिंक ऑफ द ह्यूमन ईयर पार्ट वन विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो यू कैन चेक इट आउट बिफोर दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो बिकॉज यू मस्ट बी नोइंग ईच एंड एवरी अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन ईयर टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ वी रिसीव साउंड वेव्स सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एक्सटर्नल ईयर मिडल ईयर एंड द इंटरनल ईयर so if we will take the transverse section of this particular part of human ear that is known as cochlea which is a coiled part then what kind of structure we gonna observe so let's see this particular structure the structure will be like this this is the external part or the external cavity that is known as scala vestibuli the middle chamber that is known as scala media media that simply means middle and scala tympani which is the lowest chamber so there are three chambers which are scala vestibuli the uppermost the scala media middle one and the scala tympani which is the lower one so the scala vestibuli and the scala tympani are filled with some kind of fluid that is known as perilymph and scala media which is the middle chamber is filled with endolymph this endolymph is very much similar to the plasma you all know very well about the plasma fluid very common in human and very common in most of the organisms so the scala media is filled with endolymph which is similar to somewhat similar to plasma the membrane present between the scala vestibuli and the scala media is known as resonance membrane and the membrane present between the scala media and scala tympani is the basilar membrane there is very important point about basilar membrane that basilar membrane has specialized cells that are known as organ of corti the name is organ of corti but they are specialized cells so this particular organ contains specialized sensory hair cells which generate action potential and therefore the sound waves or impulse so this is very important about the basilar membrane so the scala vestibuli and scala media are joined by resonance membrane and the scala media and scala tympani are joined by the basilar membrane the particular area in this particular diagram where the scala vestibuli and scala tympani that is the uppermost and the lowermost chamber connects with each other is known as helicotrema this is very important from the examination point of view very very important you have to memorize that the particular portion where the perilymph of scala vestibuli and scala tympani meets that particular place is known as helicotrema this particular portion is surrounded by membrane that is the endolymph is surrounded by membrane that particular membrane is known as membranous labyrinth therefore this region is known as membranous labyrinth and we can call internal ear as membranous labyrinth because this is the portion of internal ear and it is outer mostly covered by some kind of bony labyrinth therefore this particular structure which has same structure as this particular chamber is known as the bony labyrinth the outer one and the inner one is known as the membranous labyrinth that is also known as internal ear which is very important so what are these two structures this is the oval window and this is the round window that we have already studied in middle ear and internal ear in the previous lecture so how sound comes into the ear firstly the sound comes via the external ear pinna and it travels the auditory meatus that is the auditory meatus then crossing the tympanum which is oval in shape it just comes via the malleus the incus the stapes from striking these ear or cycles and amplified and then it comes from the oval window to the internal ear and then it it reaches the internal ear from the oval window so the sound reaches the internal ear via the oval window then it strikes the perilymph that is the fluid filled space the lymph perilymph is a fluid it just stimulate the fluids strike the fluids and thus the fluid start vibrating that particular vibration also stimulates this particular membrane known as resonance membrane this particularly stimulates the endolymph of scala media then it strikes this particular membrane known as basilar membrane and as we know that basilar membrane has specialized cells known as organ of corti 
एंड विच हैज सेंसरी सेल्स विच कैन ईजिली जनरेट द एक्शन पोटेंशियल और द साउंड वेव्स और इम्पल्स सो द इम्पल्स फ्रॉम द साउंड वेव्स इज जनरेटेड ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर मेमब्रेन विच इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन स्केला मीडिया एंड स्केला टिम्फेनी दैट इज नोन एज द बेसिलर मेमब्रेन विच हैज सम स्पेशलाइज सेल्स टू अटेम्प्ट टू जस्ट कैच द साउंड वेव्स एंड टू प्रोड्यूस अ इम्पल्स और एन एक्शन पोटेंशियल आर नोन एज ऑर्गन ऑफ कॉर्टी सो दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन प्रोड्यूस साउंड एंड द रिमेनिंग साउंड इफ रिमेन्ड comes to the perilymph of scalar tympani and the sound dies at this particular window which is known as round window as written here that sound dies at round window so this is how we are able to you know understand a particular kind of sounds to hear a particular kind of sound which is mostly due to the basilar membrane and if we go in depth then it is due to the specialized cells that is known as organ of corti which are present in basilar membrane and that particular membrane is present between scala media and scala tympani of internal ear so this is all about how we catch sound but if you want to go to depth then we have to learn a little bit more as we know that this particular region of internal ear has two regions that is the semicircular canals region and this particular region is known as the vestibular apparatus so the internal ear is has a particular region that is known as the vestibular apparatus and the vestibular apparatus is confined into or divided into two type of organs one is the semicircular canals which are three in number present in perpendicular or 90 degrees to each other which we have already discussed earlier and the second one is an otolith organ so what is the otolith organ just aside of semicircular canal we have just understood two different structures that are utriculus and saculus in the diagram which we have learned in previous lecture so that particular structures utriculus and saculus forms the ot otolith organ and the remaining part of internal ear that is the semicircular canals which are three in number present perpendicular to each other are the another region that is semicircular canal all these structures this is very interesting point to note that all these structures that is utriculus saculus or simply the otolith organ and the semicircular canal are filled with endolymph now what is the function of endolymph when we just change our posture so that particular endolymph also change its posture or movement because when we going to rotate our head then the endolymph present in our ear will also rotate or move with our body postures changement so that particular change in posture will stimulate the sensory cells and then give signal to the cerebellum which is the equilibrium maintenance center in our brain this is very important point so this also stimulates the cerebellum and cerebellum then work for the maintenance of our body posture as well as equilibrium therefore the equilibrium gets maintained so there are two kind of sensory spots as the posture change which will stimulate the endolymph as endolymph will also move will stimulus or stimulates the sensory cells present in ear so what are those sensory cells there are two kind of sensory cells the sensory spots present in the otolith organ that is the utriculus and saculus are known as macula this is very important and some kind of sensory spots present in the semicircular canal region are known as cristae so there is two type of equilibrium when we are static simply means when we are not moving then the equilibrium that will be maintained in our body is known as static equilibrium for example we are moving in an elevator in an elevator we are in a state of rest but the elevator is moving so we can still you know just check the movement of that particular elevator this is due to some kind of sensory spots and those sensory spots are known as macula so this otolith organs which is having sensory spots called macula is responsible for maintaining the static equilibrium and the cristae which are present in the ampulla region of semicircular canal ampulla is the dilated portion of semicircular canal as the name indicates ampulla means dilated so this is help in maintaining the dynamic equilibrium what is the dynamic equilibrium when we are in motion for example if i am walking if i am rotating my head 
then that particular motion of my head or my body is known as the dynamic equilibrium and the endolymph when rotate with the rotation of my head that particular rotation will give signal to some sensory cells and that particular sensory cells are known as Christi which are present in the semicircular canal region of our ear. So the semicircular canal is help us in maintaining the dynamic equilibrium with the help of Christi and the autolith organ that is utriculus or seculus help in the maintenance of static equilibrium with the help of some sensory cells that are known as macula. So guys this is all about the human ear structure how it responds to a particular sound and particular kind of equilibrium. So I hope that this particular video is going to help you a lot in your examination. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and if you really like this video then hit like button and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again for watching this video guys.